The first vice president of South Sudan, Taban Dengai, has urged refugees who have fled the country to return home. Dengai visited the country's southwestern state of Ye to assess the general situation in the state, where he urged civilians to support the transitional government of national unity in order to bring lasting peace in the country. I am the commander-in-chief of the I.O., or rather in opposition, and I can tell you that there is no more fighting. It is over. So I call upon all Ye civilians who have fled the region to return. And as officials try to put together a team to lead the national dialogue, tension remains high in the countryside. A senior member of the Sudan People's Liberation Movement in opposition, Peter Adok Nyaba, says the country's future lies in implementing the peace agreement that President Salva Kiren Mashar signed in August 2015. South Sudan descended into chaos in December 2013 after Kira accused his former deputy Rick Mashar of planning to overthrow the government. Civil war broke out when soldiers of Kira's Dinka tribe and Mashar's newer tribe started targeting each other.